Hello guys and welcome back to the Just Network, it's me Dan and today I've got a Cinema 4Ds for you guys and also a bit of Photoshop work as well. Um, it's going to be how to create 3D text in Cinema 4D and make it uh, with this pretty cool effect and then sort of touch it up in Photoshop make it look pretty cool, uh, epic even. So before I start this off, there will be some uh, links on the screen now for previous tutorials so you can go check out one of them later on if you want. I'll also put them at the end of the uh, video so you can go check them out at the end off you watch this if you wish. So yeah, let's just head straight into the tutorial. So I've got this um, pretty cool light studio and I'll put a link in the description description for you guys to go download that if you want to. So yeah, once you've got this light studio, we're going to insert Motex and we're just going to center this Motex up like so. And we're going to set the size of this uh, automatically to 130 around that. And I'm set. I'm used to the font Fortnite because um, it's a pretty cool font. And I'm just going to name this Twist. Um, I'm going to zoom in my camera angle, and we're going to add some caps. So start cap, fill it cap, radius of two, steps one, end cap, fill it cap, radius of one. Sorry, ra uh, steps of one, radius of two. Uh, the fillet type should be Corvex as standard, we're going to change this to one step and we're going to uncheck hole inwards. Now what this does is it gives it a pretty cool effect, as you're about to see. It uh, bevels the text sort of and it looks pretty epic. So as long as you've got that effect you're going well. Uh, now these materials in the bottom here, we're just going to duplicate the material. Um, this has got a pretty cool material because they fade out from white to black. So it gives the colour on top you put a fading out sort of effect, it looks pretty epic. So I'll put this like weird pinky purple, I don't know. Um, we drag the grey onto the material first, and onto the selection first, and then the uh, colour after. And then the colour over here, we're going to go to the selection on the bottom right, uh, type C1, cap C1. Uh, this stands for colour 1 or selection 1. So it, over, it makes this uh, colour the colour 1, colour 2. And this will uh, come hand in hand for our effect later on. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to name this text one, and we're going to duplicate this twice. So we have three text, three pieces of text. Sorry, one, two, and three. Now we're going to come to our camera angles. So we have four different camera angles here, and we're going to zoom in on the top one. This is our most important one. And we're going to come to selection two text. Zoom out a bit. And we're going to drag our text back behind it, like so, so it lines up. And then text three, and we're going to drag this one further back so it lines up like so. So now if we come back here and I go back to my other camera angle uh, you can see that we start to get this effect with the text lined up hand in hand. Uh, this one can move back a little bit more. Like so, so you get this effect. So it's like duplicates of it. Um, and that gives us our effect. So now we're going to select all these layers and come to the uh, rotation and we're going to rotate it back and to the side a little bit. I'm just going to do it like that. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, I'm just going to quickly add some lights, even though this is a light room. Um, I don't think there is enough light in here. Uh, and my X, my Z, sorry, rotation is still completely screwed. So I cannot change it and ring me. So yeah. So that looks pretty cool. Um, so now we'll go to our render settings. Our output should be HD. So that's all cool. Save should be PNG and alpha should be selected. Uh, I'm going to change this to minimum level 2x2, max level 4x4 under anti aliasing And options are cool and the inclusion cool. And under the save, I'm just going to save this to my desktop and I'm going to name this twist. And then just going to put in brackets tutorial. Okay, so we just hit the middle button to render out, and I'll be back on Photoshop, and um, we're going to do our editing there. So we're just going to open our text. <coughs> so we go File, Open, and then go to Desktop. And here it is here. Now we've opened our text, you can see the effect is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, so first off, I'm just going to add a background. Background. Text, twist. And uh, for the background, I've got this pretty cool gradient. Um, uh, so that's pretty much our background sorted. So I open up our text layer and we're going to do a gradient overlay. Uh, set this to overlay. Set the opacity on about 75%. And 
Um, that should do us for the Agro Nova. Now we'll do a drop shadow and we'll do the spread. Fine, opacity 100%. Uncheck the use global light. And we'll bring the size up to around about 35. We'll do an inner glow, inner shadow, sorry now, and we'll make this color white. Change it to overlay, and we'll change the choke to about 5, and the size to about 15. And that gives it a cool effect. So that's that done. Um, now we're going to apply um, a texture. So we're going to place the file. I'll give you this texture in the link. I like going with GFX. Grunge textures. And I think we'll use this one. I'll give you this texture in the download in the description so you can go get that if you wish. Uh, and we're going to apply this as a layer mask by holding Alt going between the layers and you should get this cool uh, downwards arrow for a mask. And we'll set this to overlay and we'll put the opacity to about 75%. And this is quite a cool sweat thing, so I'm going to duplicate this layer first. I'm actually going to fit this to the background and use this as a background overlay as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip, I'm just going to rotate this a little bit so it doesn't match the text, like so. This way it doesn't, it doesn't uh, match the text at all. Um, and I'll set this to something different, such as colour seems to work. Yes. Then image adjustments desaturate. And then we'll just quickly change the levels. Let's uh, bring the level up a lot, like that. And we'll quickly add a ellipse um, feather, about 200 pixels, all backspace, control delete, 50%, 50%. And that is pretty much our text with background type thing. Um, type thing. Uh, but mainly we're focusing on the text. So that's pretty much how to do this sort of cool text effect. It looks pretty epic. It looks like it's got a lot more depth to it rather than just three text. Um, and you'll see this be used on quite a lot of YouTube backgrounds. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much the tutorial, guys. On screen right now, there'll be a link to some other tutorials which you probably may not have watched yet. Uh, so if you want to go check them out, then you can. Also, leave a comment and feel free uh, to post any responses to this video if you've got any cool uh, effect, uh, turnouts from this video. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.